Okay, this is on the Garner job, number 53325, install on 1118. Not sure who's installing it yet. Um, so we are replacing a fan coil and adding a heat pump, replacing the AC with the heat pump. Okay, this is super, super tight. Um, so, this here is the existing return air duct. Um, so I have a cut line right there. And I made this little duct box, 20 gauge with two end caps. Um, and I think you should slip under here before you cut this. Reason being is this duct is sitting on the cement pad and it has a water heater sitting on top of the duct. So I'm afraid once you cut that with the water heater way to crush down to the bottom. So make sure you slide that heavy gauge duct under that before you cut it. I mean, it may do something else under there. I, I just can't see if it's supported by anything else under there. Better safe than sorry. Um, anyway, so. So you're gonna cut that there and then um, I have a short transition and then a 90. Our new unit is a lot taller than the existing. Um, that's why I had to do this. So a 90, then our unit will sit on it. Then I have a canvas. Just gonna match the duct that's up, up here. So the canvas, I have them cut inch and a half off each side and this going in will be half inch out and this side will be slip slip. So you have no cut line. Um, just gonna take it off. You're gonna bend these flanges straight down and put your slips on them. Um, to get this out, you may have to, uh, you know, take off this front, but just keep it nice so you can reuse it. But you may have to take it apart in pieces and put the new one in, in pieces, um, just depending. So you got this box here and it's just not enough room to get it out. Once we lower the new one, it may, may be easier to get in, um, but probably not because it's probably going to hit this box too. Um, all else fails and you may want to do this anyway, you probably will. Let's just drain the water heater, take the water heater out so you can work get that in and then put the water heater back in when you're done if it's just on flex it'd be no big deal to do that that's what I would suggest take this water heater out um, okay so drain just to the floor standard we got a humidifier as well up there, so that's all going to stay as is. Um, I'll go over the AC in a minute. The electrical, you're just going to reuse all the electrical as is. Um, you're also going to be adding heat strips in this, in our new one. So keep that in mind. Um, let's see, 
your thermostat, you're going to use a Honeywell Prestige humidistat. Sorry, thermostat, but wire the humidistat to the new equipment. Okay. So let's go out and look at the AC. Okay, the AC is actually over here under this tree. Um, line sets go under the ground and come out of this tube. So, obviously we place the insulation. Um, but I ordered another pad. This pad's 36 by 42, but I ordered a 36 by 36 pad to sit on top of this pad. Um, their setup's pretty stupid, but um, I think it'll help give it integrity, give it a little more strength. You can see it kind of bowing a little bit, that pad. So that's what I would recommend. If you have to know, you can get rid of this pad and use our new pad under it, but. So in my house, I'd probably put the new pad on top of this pad. Okay, so we use this existing disconnect, um, but you're gonna replace the fuses in here. They're 30 amp fuses. You're gonna replace them with 25s. Okay, um, flush the lines, and that's about it.